any heart attack when I woke up and saw that. Cheers. Yeah. And there's just been constant poo. Welcome back. It's very windy, so I'm very sorry about that. But I am out and about. It is currently Tuesday, the 1st of November, and it is a public holiday here in Melbourne and Victoria um, because it's the Melbourne Cup. So we have a day off, which is lovely. Um, had a very chill day. Went out for a little walk this morning that I put in, and I am just out now. It's quite late in the afternoon, it's about four o'clock um, and I've just come out to get my nails done oh. very grown out the place I usually go said online they were open but I just walked there and they're not so that's fun so I'm now on a mission to find a nail shop within walking distance that's open on a public holiday We'll see. It's a big ask, but you never know. So that's plan one. And then after that, I'm going to my friends, Sarah, who you've seen before in the videos, Sarah and Alex's house. And we're going to have a little Harry Potter watching, I don't wanna call it a marathon, because obviously we're not gonna watch all of them. We're gonna sit in, watch Harry Potter. Alex is gonna make us some snacks. Alex is a chef, so they're gonna be great very keen for that and we're just going to chill out um because it's been a very wet and cold and miserable day we were going to go out for dinner or go out and do something but it's just like really gray and rainy and it's like the perfect cozy night in kind of night so we thought we'd just all hang out and do that um which would be lovely so looking forward to that um yeah keen to get my nails done i'm not sure what i'm gonna get i just said the weather's awful which it is but it is technically spring here in melbourne so i might get something springish spring inspired but i will yeah i'll let you know what i end up getting i'm currently filming this on my phone even though i do have my camera in my bag because i'm embarrassed <laughs> i'm too embarrassed to get my camera out in public there's loads of people driving around and walking around and at least on this i can just pretend i'm on facetime with my headphones in sorry for the wind whatever whatever i'll check in with you soon bye Fresh with a um, little bit of goat cheese inside. Tiny bit. Yum. Um, blanched white asparagus with uh, pomelo on top. And uh, this one's like a little bun of uh, lobster, Mary Rose sauce, <coughs> and preserved lemon. I love it how when it comes to ours, it's like chicken and chips. <laughs> <laughs> love chicken and chips. <laughs> Should start with a crumpet. Yeah. Put it on. Oh yeah, that sauce is good. Mmm. Mmm. Very nice. What one are we on? We're not doing a full marathon. That's good. Yeah, we're watching every single one, so <laughs> buckle in. What you watch it? You <laughs> obviously not. <laughs> yeah. Gluten is life. Me too. Gluten yeah. is my life. Go. Everyone show me your matching B-reels. Oh. Wait, that's mine. Wait. Oh, that is yours. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell because they're all the same. <laughs> Cute. The boys have the same. Chris, show me your B-reel. Is this your first no, one? not loaded yet, no. Android. Yeah, it's like ages <sighs> Mine's already out. Good 
morning. Ignore my face. <clears throat> You're currently on a vase, on a lip gloss to get the tilt. I need to invest in a better tripod. It is Wednesday morning. Got my nails done yesterday. It's probably not gonna focus. How do you do that thing? Really sheer nude with like glittery bits. Cute. I am breaking out everywhere. Everywhere. That time of the month, you know what I mean? So that's really fun. Um, I'm also kind of ill. I thought that originally it was hay fever and I think part of it is, but I also think I have a cold. We're like in between seasons where it's like spring, but it's also freezing. So it's like hay fever season, but also cold and wet. So yeah, I have a bit of a sore throat today and just feeling very like drained under the weather. Um, but I did a test, it's not COVID, so that's good. Today I have the dentist at lunchtime and I'm honestly dreading it. I'm a bit of a child and I'm a bit scared of the dentist, I'm not gonna lie, because my teeth are very weak. So there's always something, always something that needs doing every time I go. Got my coffee by the way. Mm. It's not cold enough. So I am, yeah, I'm a little bit scared, not scared, but I'm just like, oh, I feel like it's gonna not be great news and it's gonna probably hurt because I'm getting them cleaned as well. And um, it's also gonna cost a lot of money, probably. So that's not ideal, but I am well overdue to go. So it's a good one to tick off. But in more exciting news, later this week, our friend Emma is coming from um, the UK. She's from Scotland, but she lives, she kind of travels all over Europe a bit because she's a nanny. Um, and the family that she works for lives between Milan and somewhere in Germany, I believe. I think that's correct. Um, but yeah, she's coming. She'll be here Thursday. She's coming to stay with us for just under two weeks, which is so exciting. Um, we weren't sure if she was gonna be able to come on that date because she had to send her passport off for a visa situation and then literally got it back yesterday. So up until yesterday, she had no passport. So we were like, oh, oh is it gonna happen? We might have to like move her flight back or something, but she has her passport. Um, so it's all going ahead. So that's very exciting. Um, we're gonna plan some fun things. Hopefully the weather comes back around so we can plan some fun little activities while she's here. This weekend the weather's supposed to be way better so maybe we'll go to the beach, we'll probably go out um, like into the city and have some dinner and some food and dinner and food, have some dinner and drinks or food and drinks. We also have our friend Paul who just recently moved back here. He lived in Sydney for a while. For some context, Chris and I and Emma and Paul all used to live together in New Zealand when we lived over there. So that was like our original house flat. Um, so Emma's coming, Paul is here. So it's like the original New Zealand squad back together, which is so, so cute. So yeah, we're gonna book some nice activities over the next couple of weeks. Um, Chris and I are still working and Paul will be working as well, which is a shame. Um, but Emma is very independent. So I'm sure she can get out and about and do some, some nice stuff and kind of see see Melbourne for herself in the days while we're working. Um, she's obviously staying with us, so I'll be around working from home a lot of the time. Um, and then yeah, we'll do some fun stuff together in the evening. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing her and having her here. Um, and for her to meet Moose, because she loves, she loves dogs, so she's gonna be obsessed. In other news today, <sighs> Taylor has announced a tour. I had a semi-heart attack when I woke up and saw that. And then and I saw that it was only America, which is upsetting, but obviously that's how it normally works. They do that first. Um, but she's already confirmed that she will be announcing worldwide dates. So, just got to hold out for that. I think it'll be a little while until we hear anything. Um, and it'll probably be like, I don't know, 2024 maybe that she actually comes here. But even just to like, oh God, I just better get a ticket. I will, like I, I can't, I can't not get a ticket for it. Even just to have the ticket, even if the tour's like two years away, that's just gonna be incredible. So that was some amazing news to wake up to this morning. That's made me very happy. Last night was so fun um, at Sarah and Alex's. Uh, Alex made like the most delicious array of tacos, um, all different like types of fish taco. He made a pork, um, pork belly taco, so good. Um, and he did some beautiful canapes as well. He's very talented, very, very good at what he does. So, and it's nice that I get to benefit from that. <laughs> Have a chef friend, guys, fully recommend. That's all for now. 
I will check in maybe later today or tomorrow when Emma arrives. My baby don't mess around because she loves me so when this I know for sure. No, we had no sleep. Yeah, we didn't have any sleep because <laughs> most pooed everywhere. Oh, Emma's here, by the way. Emma, hey. uh, you said hi. Hello. <laughs> You're like in the darkness in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> Mysterious. <laughs> you know, on those um, programs where people come on and like talk anonymously about crimes and they're like in the dark <laughs> and they change their voices. <laughs> That's what you look like right now. <laughs> Identity's protected. Yeah. <laughs> Emma's a fake name. It's not who you really are. Uh, yeah, Moose has been pooing liquid all night and all day. Well, it was what one in the morning, and I was rudely awoken by the smell of. You should stop swearing. I have to cut that out. Oh, it was one in the morning. <laughs> and I was rudely awoken by the smell of poo. Yeah. Which I had to clean up. Yeah. And then we put him outside, and then he just wouldn't stop barking at random points in the night. Yeah, to the point spooked, wasn't it? until about three half three in the morning mm -hmm. and that's when I got to sleep so, and then you yeah. got up and shouted him and then he quieted down to be fair did, after that yeah. he was like oh <laughs> sorry and then I woke up and went out there and there was two I was watching waffles. him on the camera and he was just stood on the end of the sofa at the window just like listening he must have heard something yeah didn't it? It scared I him. think he could hear like people coming in from like a night out yeah or he was just protecting us but it's very annoying yeah and then yeah there's Two more poos there this morning in the living room, all liquid, and then he's done a couple more since. Yeah, he's so not very well. We also got a bit on the sofa, got a bit on the sofa, throws, a bit so everywhere. We had to clean all those, take all the pillowcases off. Yeah, it's hard because you don't want to be angry at him because yeah. he's not well, like it's not his fault. Or what but... Emma's just got here. Yeah, Emma's just come here, <laughs> and there's just been constant poo Welcome. all around the house. But you look after small children for a living, so I feel like you're yeah. used to it. She's used to the smell of poo. Yeah. It's like home. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like back at work. So it could be worse. It's hard to be mad at him. <laughs> yeah. Just walk into... And he looks so everywhere. guilty. Like when I walked out this morning, he looked so guilty and he was looking at me like, I'm sorry. It's, like, it's not your fault, mate. Like you've got, you've got to go, you've got to go. Especially when it's like that liquidy. Wish you could just say, oh, hello. I know. Help. When he did it in our room, I was like, could you not have like... He was get... laying there. This, so this is what he does, yeah, when he's got a bad stomach. And he's he's done it to me twice whilst I was laying on the sofa. Yeah. He would just lay there and just, he'll be asleep and he'll just poo. In and, his sleep. And I smelt it and I turned the light on and it's he's still like in his sleeping position, but oh. with a pile of poo next to him. Like, just it. It, just, it just comes out. So. He's probably as freaked out as you are. Is that what I do? He eats poo. He doesn't as much anymore. Not he did anymore, when he was younger. Yeah, he did eat it. I don't a think he's bothered poo. by the smell of it, whereas. No, but he probably doesn't feel well. Like, it's not a nice feeling, is it, when you have no, diarrhea? It's not nice. It's probably like, oh, that hurts. No, but no, like, nothing's changed. His diet's been exactly the same, so. Yeah, I don't know. He must have just eaten something dodgy off the ground, or maybe it's those treats. He had too many of those treats. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Could be anything. Yeah. But. Moral of the story is everyone's very tired. <laughs> yeah. Very fed up with poo. And we're going out tonight. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow's gonna be fun. So tomorrow we're all gonna be an absolute wreck. So that's fun. And for now we're just gonna go do some shopping. Oh! <laughs> we're gonna go and shop and mooch. And then get ready. Retail therapy. But retail therapy. Hopefully wake us up. I do actually think even though it's 3 30, I do think I know I'll get a coffee. You wanna have a coffee? Maybe. 
I think I need it for going. I need to get through tonight. It's tall, isn't it? He is tall. Why is he wearing a. I don't know. Is he dressed like he's from the 60s? What's that hat called? Fedora? Yeah. Interesting. Quite a traditional Australian hat. Yeah. Not with a suit, though. No, it's a bit weird. Oh! That's all I have to say. Anyone else got anything to say? No. no. Great. Right, just want to go to bed. Dead. The end. Thanks for coming. <laughs>